God has always given us signs from above. Hi, welcome to Signs from Above. This is Lucy B. I swear, I look at this world and do a double take. I mean, remember when we used to be shocked by crazy stuff happening and we think, what on earth led us here? Now, every news story feels like an episode of, you won't believe this. It's gotten so crazy that I can't help but chuckle to myself. I mean, I guess laughter is my coping mechanism. Better than bawling my eyes out, right? I mean, sure, the world's been on a downward slide, but since 2020, it's like we're riding a roller coaster to rock bottom. One such such topic is for fun. Let's call these Burke. I've read reasons about birds and why they should be legal. I've read because parents may not financially be able to take care of their children, and then they will often be abused and end up in foster care. It's made me think truly about my own life. (laughs) So here we go. Let's listen to it. Woohoo! I grew up with teenage parents, and it was no walk in the park. My mom had five kids by the time she was 27, and neither of my parents had even finished high school. Bless her heart, my mom worked her fingers to the bone just to keep a roof over our heads. But with her working long hours, it sometimes left us alone with a real piece of work for her father. (laughs) And when I say a piece of work, I mean a downright monster. He was beyond abusive, a real life nightmare. I swear, he must have been possessed or something. But mom, bless her heart, had no idea what was going on. He threatened us into silence. Side note, while I've cut ties with him now, I found it in my heart through Jesus to forgive him. And this has given me a peace that I can't even understand. (laughs) So back to the story. So they caught my dad red-handed and off he went to the slammer. Social workers swooped in, ready to whisk us away from home, but mom stepped in. She fought tooth and nail to prove she had no clue about dad's antics while she was away. Still, they kept a close eye on us. Meanwhile, mom worked like crazy, juggling three jobs just to keep food on the table. It was tough as nails for her. Those were the days when we were scraping the bottom of the barrel. So according to these critics, my mom should have birded us because we were poor, abused, and involved in the system. But I have one thing to say. My mom is better than your mom. She chose life and valued each and every one of her kids. So we had nothing. Hmm. But neither did Jesus. But he made sure we were fed. Sure, we were abused. But look at what Jesus had to endure by those who were not his family that brutally beat him. Plus, I also know how to live with and without. And I think that that's helped me throughout life. But know this, if you are a child of God, he will turn all things bad to good. Just pray, pray, pray. And let me know, and I'll pray for you as well. So let's talk about some birds. I wanna give you some facts. Did you know that 59% of adults surveyed in 27 countries say birds? should be legal in all or most cases, while 26% say it should be legal in all or most cases. So, (laughs) I guess I can say that this video will not be getting the most popular video of the year award. (laughs) It's okay, it's not why I'm doing this. Opposition of birds prevailed in only four countries, Peru, India, Malaysia, and Colombia. 69, sorry, excuse me, 67 state birds should be legal if the baby has a disability or health problems. Side note, have you ever volunteered with children in special education classes? If not, I suggest you do. Why? Because I have learned more from these kids than any other person in my entire life. They are truly not of of this world and almost these little angels. 
and they may be some of the happiest people that I've ever seen. So if you're not happy, go volunteer and let these, these kids or some of them adults teach you how to be happy. In fact, I want you to watch this video right here. Jesus! Jesus, my God, I see you. No, I go first. You're gonna teach us for God. Look. Yes, I'm lost. Did you know that some states in the U.S. allow births up to birth, making it some of the only places in the world to allow this? These states are Oregon, Colorado, Minnesota, District of Columbia, Vermont, New Jersey, Alaska, Maryland, Puerto Rico, and New Mexico. Also in New Mexico, you will find the satanic temple that will help with births. All you need to do is to become a member and it'll happen for free or other states for that matter. So making you religious will change your mind, right? Oh no, my friends. Sometimes that is not even a factor with over half of Catholics supporting births. The more the Christian attends church and daily Bible readings and prayer and in Bible study, the more they tend to be against a birth. Now, Let's get to my opinion. I'm telling you now that I know of friends who have had a birth. With at least my friends, they have tended to have regret in their heart and is something that, they've, that has haunted them throughout their lives. It made me sad for each of these women. So please, if you've had a birth, I'm, I'm truly not here to judge you. Like all of us, we have sinned. I'm a sinner and far, 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 far. From perfect as Jesus and he will forgive you just ask him like he has forgiven my stack of sins <laughs> oh there's a lot um I promise I have listened to women over and over again and never have a never have I judged a one of them but I tell you what I have and continue to pray for these women the ones I see are the women who continually go out to, for a bird, and this is their form of birth control. They have become numb to it, and it means nothing. These are the women on the streets fighting to keep having a bird. I don't even know if they know exactly what happens to these little ones when the bird is performed, nor do I think the majority of them even want to know. But. As with many crazy stories that I thought would never see in my lifetime, this definitely ranks pretty high in my book. So in the Bible, we are warned of final days, and this is what it says in 2 Timothy 3.15. But mark this, there will be some terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treacherous, which means deceitful, <laughs> which is everywhere, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, have nothing to do with such people. So when we are home, it will be wonderful. But we are still here and we still have work to do. So keep an eye out for the signs around you. Until our next episode, walk in the confidence that you're guided and protected with Jesus lighting your path and revealing messages along your journey.